being a woman in football, you've already broken some rules in some guy's head. So when I first started refereeing, the kind of looks that I got from players were like a very shocked surprise to see me. I was like, I'm Jawahir Rabla, and I'm from Kanjogo, in Greece, and I'm from the country of Muslims, and I'm from the country of Muslims, and I'm from the country of Muslims, and I'm from the country of Muslims. But you can call me JJ. My whole family, we lived in Somalia, and a civil war broke out, and my family were forced to leave their home, they were forced to leave the country and come to England, start fresh. When we first came to London, I was 10 years old. As a football fanatic, to find out that your first home in England is gonna be Wembley, it was just a dream. My parents, they were not okay with the whole idea of me playing football because I'm a girl first of all and I should not be playing football, I should not be running around. I was hiding my football boots when I come home, I'll make sure I'll put on like um, my normal clothes quickly. Lion had to stop and they had to say, okay, I'm actually, I want to become a referee and I want to, yeah, I want to take my football serious. And they're like, you're stubborn JJ, go ahead, go for it, go for it. My end game would be to referee Women's Super League, if I'm fortunate enough. We want to have England ladies to be the best in the whole world. And that can be done if it starts from the bottom up. We can make it happen. Yes, I swear, just starting it and just inspiring people.